just when you thought Redbubble couldn't sink any lower. They're still surprising us with the most ludicrous changes. It's been nearly a year since Redbubble introduced three tiers, standard, premium, and pro. There's been a ton of controversy around these three tiers, with seasoned sellers being put in the standard tier and brand new sellers being put in the premium and pro tiers. At first, this seemed really odd and we wondered why. Why would someone who's getting no sales be placed in the pro or premium tier, but a seasoned seller that's getting lots of sales be placed in the standard tier? Well, it didn't take too long to work it out. Basically, in the standard tier, you get charged an added fee on top of your sales. In the pro and premium tier, you don't get charged that extra fee. So by placing a bunch of new sellers in the standard tier, well, Redbubble weren't set to make any more money. However, placing seasoned sellers that were getting sales, gosh, that's a lot of S's, in the standard tier, well, that would just end up making Redbubble even more money. Now, this didn't happen to everyone. It just happened slightly too often for it to become slightly strange. First, let's go over what they've done now. Then I'll let you in on a really good solution for moving forward. It's very dodgy practice, I know. But then again, I'm not so surprised. Anyway, let's start by going over what they've done now and in this video, I'm also going to be sharing with you some of the best steps in moving forward. If you are in the standard tier, you have to pay a fee on your earnings. For example, if you earn $500, you will have to pay an extra $92 as a fee for being in the standard tier. Now, Redbubble says this, the account fee is a flat fee based on your monthly earnings and only applies if you make a sale. If you make no sales during the payment period, you will not be charged a fee. So artists are never out of pocket. But this is complete BS. Because yes, if you don't get a sale, you're not out of pocket. Obviously, you haven't got a sale. That, make, that, that makes sense. But if you have got a sale, you very much are out of pocket. If we take our previous example, you would be $92 out of pocket if you made $500. That's a lot of money to be losing in these extra fees to Redbubble. But anyways, that's not new. This is old information. That's what it's been like since May the 1st, 2023. However, things have now changed again. As of the 1st of February, 2024, the Redbubble fees for standard tiers have gone up. Not by a lot, but by enough to make a difference. But smartly, not by too much that it becomes so noticeable. Ask yourself, if you sell on Redbubble, did you even know that they were coming out with these changes? It's very, very snaky practice. The thing that really annoys me here is it hasn't even been a year since introducing tiers and they've already increased these fees. And it's not even like they have competitive prices when it comes to their products. They have some of the most expensive base prices I've ever seen in print on demand. And I've tested a lot of print on demand companies. But the icing on the cake here is to what end? So it hasn't been a year and they've, and they've increased these fees. How long will it be before they increase the fees again and then again and then again? And there's no end in sight. So now the fees look like this. If you earn $500, they'll now charge you $97. Not a huge difference, but it's the principle. Who says they won't increase that to $100, $110, $120? Slowly, slowly, they'll probably be increasing these fees incrementally so that they're not that noticeable, but over a period of time, they will have a drastic effect on your profits. Going back to the full table, you can see the difference side by side. Even though it feels small and insignificant, this is how they'll get you by making small, unnoticeable changes every so often. Well, before discussing a solution, let's look at the numbers logically. If you sell their cheapest t-shirt, the base price starts at $18.94. 
absolutely mind-blowing how expensive that is when you actually factor in the quality. Say you sell that t-shirt for $22. This is what some of the most popular t-shirts on Redbubble are selling for. That leaves you with $3.06 per sale. If you are in the standard tier, you will get charged these extra fees. And between $3 and $3.99, you'll be charged a fee of $1.90, leaving you with a total profit of $1.16 per t-shirt sold. This is absolutely absurd. Why is anyone using Redbubble? I don't understand. $1.16 for a t-shirt sale is insane. It can take months and months to get sales, hours of research, insane hard work, late nights, stress, anxiety. It's, it's a real roller coaster of emotions to create a successful print-on-demand business. And for what? for $1.16 per item sold. That's not what print-on-demand is. We do print-on-demand because of its scalability and its potential for maybe some passive income, right? Just, just maybe. Now, with Redbubble, that is not gonna happen. Look, I will happily be proven wrong here, but in my eight years of doing this, I have never in my life come across someone making $3,000 or more a month on Redbubble. And to take this example back to a video I made a few days ago, I weighed in how much money you would have to make to quit your job. So based on the information from the last video and my own personal expenditure, every month I'm spending 5,000 pounds, or around 5,000 pounds on bills and food and my mortgage and all that kind of stuff. Now, I worked out on average, I get around $7 per item sold, per t-shirt sold, I should say. So that's about £5.50 in the UK, which means I would need 909 sales in the month to break even. This is what I aim for, and it's incredibly achievable. However, with Redbubble, I would need over 5,000 sales a month just to break even. Not a chance that is happening. I don't know anyone doing 5,000 sales a month on Redbubble. Amazon, maybe. Etsy, maybe. But Redbubble, not a chance. So I'm asking you genuinely, why are you still putting so much effort into a platform like Redbubble. Personally, I think the best solution would be to use other platforms like Etsy, eBay, Amazon, maybe even Shopify if you want to go down the social media and, and, and ads route. That is all a potential and that is how you would actually build a print-on-demand business that can be scaled and can turn into passive income. Those are the platforms where there is futurability. Now, I'm not sure if futurability is a word, but it should be because it's a flipping cool word. But futurability meaning if you're selling on Redbubble, there isn't much futurability there. I love that word. But basically, you could be selling Redbubble for five years and still be making the same amount or a very little amount, but constantly having to add more products to actually get to a, a, a good income, right? Whereas with Shopify, with Etsy, with Amazon, I know people who literally haven't uploaded a product in over a year, yet they're still making six figures a year from their business. That is something we want to get on board with. So if you want a leg up with your print-on-demand business, please check out my other YouTube content and if you want some extra cool cheat codes, then check out my weekly free newsletter where I give some really cool information. The link will be down below. It's completely free and it's really cool. But anyways, let me know what are your thoughts about Redbubble, about these fee increases and what does it mean for you? Do you still sell on Redbubble? Is Redbubble kind of irrelevant these days? Let me know.